In this video I'm going to break down the new BTEC First in Sport qualification for September 2018. So Pearson have updated the BTEC First in Sport course this year and in this video I'll outline the main structure of the course and what is involved. The course is split into six units, fitness for sport and exercise, practical sports performance, applying the principles of personal training, the mind and sports performance, the sports performer in action and leading sports activities. Now units 1 to 3 are now compulsory and teachers need to select one other topic from units 4, 5 or 6. Unit 1 remains the same which investigates the main fitness components, principles of training, training methods and fitness testing. The online exam has been increased to an hour and 15 and is now out of 60 marks. All the content I have produced for this channel is still relevant for the unit 1 exam. So make sure you subscribe and be sure to check out the playlists which have all the information organised for use in lessons, revision activities and when setting homeworks. I've also produced this Fitness Components t-shirt which is available in a variety of different styles and fits and that can be worn by staff and pupils to help with revision and application during lessons. All the links are in the description below. Unit 2 sees the performer show understanding of the major sporting rules and regulations demonstrates practical techniques and participates in a variety of drills and competitive matches as well as evaluating their own performances. The only major change to the previous course is that pupils need to apply their knowledge of the fitness components to these sports for the learning A and B assignment. Unit 3, Applying the Principles of Personal Training is a completely new unit and will focus on pupils applying what they have previously learned in other units. Learning Aim A sees the pupil design a six week training program with the clear aim to target a specific area of weakness or fitness component. When planning this program, students should consider personal objectives and medical history, the appropriate training methods to target the goal and the basic principles of training. Learning Aim B requires the students to learn about the structure of the musculoskeletal and cardiorespiratory systems while also considering the short term effects exercise will have on these systems. The students will complete their training programs for Learning Aim C and then review the program for Learning Aim D. The optional units 4 to 6 remain unchanged. Unit 4, the mind and the sports performer, requires pupils to examine the psychology of sport. Unit 5 sees the student investigate the short and long term effects of exercise on the body, whilst pupils need to demonstrate knowledge of how to lead when coaching in sport for Unit 6. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe for more specific videos for the new BTEC First in Sport qualification. Follow on social media and be sure to check out my revision t-shirts in the links below.